Hi, it's Debbie. I went to the Dollar Tree again three times in one week. That is like really crazy for me because I hadn't been since January and now I've been three times. But we went to the VA for uh, in uh, St. Pete for my husband to get his COVID uh, vaccine. And so on the way back, there's a different Dollar Tree. So I asked if we could stop there. And so we did. I just had to get, uh, I can't remember what I, I, I didn't really have anything I had to get, but I wanted to look for, just look around. I guess I just wanted to look around. And uh, so I did find a few things, and I think $12, so that's not too bad. But one thing I found, I went, I talked to my mom yesterday, and uh, I told her I had jelly beans, and I had saved her black jelly beans from my jelly beans, because she likes black ones. She said, send them her way. And so I also went and I found her, I got her one of these candy bars too because she likes Whitman's chocolate. I would get one for my daughter, but she is really <coughs> allergic to everything. Oh, my husband's sneezing out there. She's allergic to everything, so I don't think she can have milk chocolate. So otherwise I would have got one for her as well. But anyway, that's for my mom. And then I went, um, I found some more fairy garden things. I had gone back to the... Dollar Tree yesterday and I was hoping the little frogs I saw were there and that they would come home with me but they were not there so I got I left them or I didn't leave them but they weren't there so I went to this Dollar Tree and looked at fairy garden stuff and they had some fairies but I thought they looked kind of scary so I did not get them they were tiny like my little gnomes but I found these cute little houses look at this one I'll try to make it so you can see the little house it's like a little tree house i think that one is just cute as can be and then i found a little water wheel isn't that cute because i have the tiny gnomes if you, well, of course you know if you saw the other video and then this one and then here's here's the gnomes i had before see how tiny they are so that's more his size of a house or a place to go and then um problem I had with the other house I have, this little one, the first one I got, you see how big it looks like he's kind of giant for that, but I figured if I put this farther back, it's like far away, so it would look like a nice house. And so I did buy something to make this, like to put it on a hill. I found some felt finally at the Dollar Tree, and this is a, just a big roll of felt. I know I've seen people get like little squares of felt with different colors, but I had to pick colors. They had purple, white, uh, I think there was black, and this green. So the green I thought was perfect for grass. So that was a good to know. And, oh, I was going to tell you also, when I got those three little gnomes, these little guys did not have eyes because their hats are longer. So I put some eyes on there with a the Sharpie. I'll show you the other little guy because I have him sitting here. For this, see their hats? He's got a short hat, so he had eyes. The, these two had long hats, so they had no eyes. So, anyway, but this little guy lives in the sand garden right now, and I'll show you how cute he looks in there. And he's quite happy. Okay, I'll try to turn around without dumping. Oop! Face first in the sand, buddy. There's that. Oh, he's he's been drinking. Yeah, there he is. See him? Isn't he cute? And he's got a little. I have to fix his his sand up. He's pretty messed it up. He's got like a little basket. I was gonna put some little seed beads in there so it looks like fruit or something in there. But he's super cute. He's my favorite. Sorry guys, he's my favorite. <laughs> so anyway, what else did I get? I went back and I got, um, not back because this was a new store, but I found those uh, metallic markers. I did try the white one and the gold one, and they work very nice. So I figured I'd get the silver because it's good for dark paper, and then the blue and the red. And I did not see the green at this Dollar Tree, so those are the ones I got. And, I'm put them there. and I found that bling. I think Karen, California Karen used this on, on the pocket letter she sent me. And since I'm making her one in blue and purple, I got some of that and thought that would be good on there. And then I also found stickers, better stickers than we have at ours. These ones, 
Little elephants. I know Annie would like elephants. She loves elephants. Annie creates, so we got the little elephants. And then I found, and they're, I think they're squishy. Let me put my glasses on. Very hot. I had to walk someone's mail down because there's someone that writes letters to their their grandma and when they make their twos they look like ones and we're at 272 and they're at 172 so a lot of their stuff comes here if it's written for grandma so anyway these little guys are kind of squishy you can't really tell but they're kind of squishy and clear and so are these ones the ones that look like little balloon puppies aren't those cute I love them love them and then these ones are unicorn stickers and they are raised raised up as well there's like foam or something behind so they're raised up so those are really super cute oh i love this little guy scampering yeah. uh, let's see if that was all i think that is all i got from dollar tree and then i was going to show you one other thing i had gotten these magnets before at dollar tree and they i thought they would be too thick which they ended up being and, oh, they're hard to pull apart, but they don't want to leave each other. See those? I was going to use them on this box that I made. But I ended up using Velcro there in the middle. Because, see, if you put both of those, um, if you put both of those on there, see how fat they are? So that would look stupid on here. So I got the Velcro on, but then today in the mail, along with the card for Grandma. Um, got this thing from this electrician place, and they had one of those magnets, refrigerator magnets, stuck to it. So I decided, oh, that's what I was looking for, was like the magnet tape. So I cut it, cut it in pieces, and it, of course, sticks, sticks together. Well, now it's not, yeah, there, sticks together. I don't know if it's gonna be strong enough. Oh, I forgot this glue probably isn't dry, but I glued the pieces on these ends here. I'm going to see if that sticks better, and if it does, I might take off the Velcro and put that there. So, because Velcro kind of makes it stick. I don't know if those, I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to see if it works. It doesn't seem like it wants to stick now. But I thought, oh, that would be a good idea. Maybe those thicker, thicker magnets you buy, but I'm looking for that magnet tape that's, you know, it's usually thicker than this, but I thought that was a pretty good idea because it does stick to each other. So we'll see, and I will let you know. And this box, if you remember, I made, and it was actually from this is what it used to be as an apron box. So if you look in there, you can see it's ridgery with the apron words. So, anyway, that's all I have. So, have a good day. Oh, no, it's not. There's always one. I was going to tell you about one thing from Amazon that I found that is absolutely delicious. Is this uh, drink mix packets. True lemon lemonade. This is raspberry lemonade. And these kind comes with 30 in a pack. I think it was $5.85. But there's no artificial sweeteners because I don't like all those other ones. They have the artificial sweeteners and I don't use those I use stevia and uh, so this has got some stevia in it I believe let me see but it's got cane sugar yeah it does say it's got stevia 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 leaf and it's 10 calories a pack so that's pretty good you did, you know, did a bunch of them it's 30 I had to, I ripped the box so I had to put some tape but I keep I keep these in a little glass thing on the counter so, but anyway, I know the ones you get at Dollar Tree, I don't know how many comes in a pack, maybe 10. So, for 30 of them, that would be $3. Well, this is a little more expensive than that. I don't know how many comes in if it's 10. But if it is 10, then this is a little more expensive, but it's better for you because it doesn't have the fake sugar in it. So, anyway, that's all I have, really, this time. So have a good day. Bye.